Welcome back to Tijuana, Mexico. It's the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. Eric Morales will defend the title against John Lowy. Bob Papa and Al Bernstein back in Tijuana, Mexico. Eric Morales at 21 years of age is undefeated. And Morales is one of the young bright stars in boxing. 27 and 0. Morales coming off a tremendous win. He has 21 knockouts after 118 amateur bouts. His father didn't even want him to become a pro boxer, but he excelled so well that now he is a world champion. Well, Eric Morales has the world championship. What an impressive effort against Zaragoza from landing, jabbing, power shots, everything. He did everything. He landed 49% of his punches, and equally as impressively, made Zaragoza land only 30% of his punches. That's something against uh, the 39-year-old Zaragoza, who has always been a very accurate puncher. Okay, what about making your first title defense in your hometown? How much pressure on his shoulders? You know, it's interesting. Different men react differently. Some people come out so fired up because of the feeling in the crowd that they actually get out of their game plan. I don't know that that would happen for Morales, but that young man, as you see coming in, has a whole different set of problems, doesn't he? Yeah, John Lowy, 25 and 1. Al, he's from Ireland. He has 18 knockouts, but does he really have the power? You know, the interesting thing is, with all those knockouts, and many of them coming early in fights, the quality of competition that he's faced is nowhere close to what he's facing tonight. And that man, Eric Morales, can get ready for a sonic boom when he gets into this room. Well, he has yet to appear to the crowd as he's about to come out of the runway to our left. John Lowy, the 31-year-old from Ireland, is in the ring. Lowy fighting out of Chicago. And Eric Morales, well, some fireworks are being set off. The WBC Super Bantamweight Champion, Eric Morales. Mexico. What about the power of Morales, Al? 15 of his 21 knockouts have come within the first three rounds. He is a very powerful fighter, and the most important thing, Bob, is he's a very aggressive fighter. He constantly puts pressure on you, and in Lowy's case, he's going to have to deal with the fact that he's going to get three minutes of pressure in every single round. Ultimately, that's what made Zaragoza will. If you're John Lowy, what is your game plan early? You better make sure that you don't get hit with something big. You better control the early rounds and use your jab against Morales. Well, Eric Morales and John Lowy are getting set for tonight's main event. The WBC Super Bantamweight Championship is at stake. We send it up to our ring announcer, Danny Valdivia. Bob Aaron's top rank incorporated ESPN and Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, present the ESPN Championship Boxing main event of the evening. Super Bantamweights, 12 rounds for the Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. This championship bout has been sanctioned by La Comisión de Box y Lucha Libre de Tijuana, Ramón Espinosa, Chairman, and the World Boxing Council, José Sulaman, President. Supervising at ringside and representing the WBC from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, Ramón Espinosa. From Mexico, Distrito Federal, Demetrio Vallado. Judging at ringside, from Sacramento, California, Hank Ellis Puro. From Curaçao in the Netherlands, Antilles, Harold Lawrence. From La Paz, Baja California Sur, Guillermo Ayon. And our referee in charge from Dallas, Texas, Lawrence Cole. <laughs> in the red corner, the challenger wearing green and white trunks with a professional record of 25 wins, one loss, 18 wins by knockout at 119 and a half pounds from County Down, Ireland, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, John the Quiet Man Lowy. And across the ring in the blue corner wearing black trunks, he's undefeated in 27 professional fights, 21 of his wins by knockout, he weighed in at 120 pounds 
From Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, the WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Eric El Terrible Morales. We are getting set for tonight's championship bout as Eric Morales takes off the robe. Let's take a look at the rules as governed right, by the WBC. So, fight clean, play Olympia. No three knockdown thing. rule, no standing eight count. You can only be saved by the bell in the final round. Only the referee may stop the bout. If there's an accidental foul, they'll go to the scorecards after four rounds. Prior to that, there's a technical draw. There's one glitch in the WBC rules. If there's an accidental foul, and there's a clash of heads. If you cause the clash of heads in the cut, you will have a point deducted. As Eric Morales says a prayer before he gets ready to make his first defense. And the referee is Lawrence Cole from Dallas, Texas. And he's sort of a Morales good luck charm. He was the referee when Morales beat Daniel Zaragoza in Texas in September. And wow! the ring and he takes it right to the champion. And I'll tell you what, that was perfectly legal and Morales had barely turned around. Wow. Wow. Lowy <laughs> running a 4-240. The ring only 18 feet by 18 feet. What did I say about Lowy making sure he didn't get hurt in the first round? How about the fact that he's going out to hurt the champion in the first round? Wow. Lowy has 10 knockouts in the first two rounds. You see the knockout ratio, and it's a good one. Uh, great for Morales, good for Lowy also. Clearly, Lowy thinks of himself as a puncher, and I talked about the fact that many of his, his wins hadn't come against spectacular boxers, so was his power for real. But the point is, he definitely believes he's a uh, puncher, and if he believes he's a puncher, he's going to act like one. Morales, who is 10 years younger than Lowy, has more rounds as a professional under his belt. 27 more pro rounds. One more time. Morales now settling down a little bit. Well, the quiet man came out and made a loud statement. John Lowe. Did he ever? And he continues to be aggressive. Push it up, all right? But, and Eric Morales has a look on his face like, wow, what happened here? Although, I would caution everyone when they think of that look, Morales is a patient fighter. He's aggressive but patient, so he's not the kind of guy that belies a lot of emotion. But he's getting hit with left hooks, and I mean he's getting hit with some good left hooks by Lowe. Lowe now fighting out of the Chicago area from Ireland. He fought his first 13 fights, 11 of them in Ireland, two in England, and of his last 13, 11 of those have been fought in the Chicago area. Well, he wondered about Lowy having ring rust coming off a 187-day layoff. But there was no, but there's Morales with a good right hand. Well, after a blazing start by Lowy, Morales says it's my turn, but one thing you have to like about what John Lowy is doing, He's using the jab to set up these power punches, and then he is not afraid to throw those power punches. Final 15 seconds of this first round. It's been action-packed. Challenger John Lowy taking it right to the champion, Eric Morales. No matter what happens in this bout, a gutsy first round for John Lowy. And there's the bell to end round one. John Lowy in a hostile environment in Tijuana, taking it right to the champion, Eric Morales. Let's take a look at the opening bell. Now, you see Morales still deep in prayer. Lowy just waiting, can't wait. Now the bell sounds, and boom, he's over there and lands a left hook before you can say Daniel Zaragoza. Fortunately for Morales, Lowy did not land a really good clean shot. Morales was turning. 
We asked John Lowy fighting in this hostile environment of Tijuana Mexico against Eric Morales what his expectations were coming into the bout tonight. Oh, I, I, I am here to take the title back to Ireland. Oh, it's, I'm not going to be led back. I'm going to go in and let him sh show him who's boss. Because I'm here to take it. Wayne McCulloch was unable to achieve this in January of this year. Well, hopefully John Lowe is going to do it in December. Yeah. Eric Morales still lives at home with his parents. He has no responsibility. My responsibility is to my wife and my three kids who are still back in Ireland. And that's why I'm here determined to lift this belt and take it back to them. Very impressive, and John Lowy is a man of his word because he did come on the first round to try and show Morales who was boss. Take a look at the numbers here in round number one. Well, Morales may have ended up with more punches landed, but I, I gave Lowy the round uh, primarily because of the number he threw, and I thought he overall dictated the tempo of that round. Lowy referring to Wayne McCullough. Another Irishman now fighting out of the Boston area who took on Daniel Zaragoza in January and lost. And by the way, should Morales win here tonight, there is much talk that McCullough would be his next opponent. So what if Lowy won? Would he fight McCullough? <laughs> that would be very intriguing. You think that you think that fight could make some money in Ireland? Possibly. By the time Eric Morales is through with the year, should he win tonight, he'll be talking with the Grove. <laughs> what about him needling Morales? I thought that was fascinating, talking about Eric living at home and how uh, maybe the world's responsibilities haven't caught up with him yet. I love that, though. You know what? I love what John Lowe is doing. He's, he's doing everything he can to show that he's not intimidated. Even that move, which was a little illegal, but just kind of bullying Morales around. And also anything to distract Morales from using his technique. And there's Morales ripping off the combination. And you know, as I'm sitting here watching this, I'm thinking to myself, if you're going to beat Eric Morales, you know what? You're going to have to pressure him because he thrives on his own pressure. When he can come forward and push you back, it makes Eric Morales a 50% better fighter. But when he has to go back, he's not used to it. Chance of Eric. And because of that, the plot has thickened here early in this bout. Lowy has had a longer layoff than he had now. He was off from 1991 in December to 94 of March when he had a long layoff. That was, a, that was all part of his move from Ireland yes. to the United States. And getting himself situated here. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Eric Morales making the first defense of his WBC Super Bantamweight Championship in Tijuana against John Lowy on ESPN's Championship Boxing. Eric Morales springs out of his corner as we begin round number three. Bob Hoppe, Al Bernstein in Tijuana, Mexico. Morales making the first defense of his WBC Super Bantamweight Championship against John Lowy. And we take a look at numbers from round two. Morales again with a very slight edge. I again gave the round to Lowy primarily because you see he threw 13 more punches. And um, I thought generally dictated the tempo of that round a bit. But if, you see these rounds are close. If you just tuned in, Morales was in his corner in prayer at the start of round one. The bell sounded. And Lowy did a sprint across the ring and just attacked Morales. And that has set a tone in this bout. For those of you that have watched uh, boxing on ESPN many years, Terrence Ali used to do that. He sprinted across the ring at his opponents and uh, often would gain a big advantage early by doing it. There is one, and you take a look at Al's scorecard. I gave both the rounds to John Lowy. Now, mind you, that may not be the way the judges saw it because they were both very, pretty close rounds, but I thought he dictated the tempo. There's one common opponent for these two boxers, Lee Cargill. 
Morales scored a second round knockout against Cargill in 1996. Lowy has two knockout wins against Cargill, one coming in 1990 and one in 1994. Lee is a journeyman who has fought just about everybody in the lower weight divisions. We've seen him here on ESPN. We saw him against Todd Foster. Not a bad fighter, but just not up to the caliber.